Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to see how to repair a Behringer DCX2496 that does not light up. We are going to repair it by replacing the capacitors that have failed and this repair applies to many switch mode power supplies. Here I have already disassembled the power supply from the Behringer uh, speaker controller. Now in this situation you want to replace all the electrolytic capacitors and uh, that's what we are going to do. Fire up the vacuum soldering and start removing the capacitors. We need to use low impedance ones. These are 10,000 hours. Um, the main filter of course is just the standard capacitor and here we have it it's a long life Panasonic one now let's remove these two and Continue replacing the capacitors. Just out of curiosity, also test these ones. So these are gone also. Wow. Alright. So all of them needed to place it. If you don't have a desoldering iron, um, an easy way to remove capacitors is just by holding up and pulling slightly from each side. And here we are. And now with a hand pump or a wick, you can remove the excess solder and open up the holes. I'm going to use the desoldering iron for that, as it makes it much easier. This is the ground plane, so it is a bit harder to melt. Great. Let's go to the next one. So here I'm using a 35 volt capacitor, you can do that, you can replace them with a bigger volume voltage, but you can't go down obviously. Double check the polarity, that it is correct. 
and let's go to the next one. It looks like it has leak underneath. And it is a 470 microfarad 25 volt. We're going to use the same 35 volt Panasonic FR. Actually, I want to do a bit of cleaning. With isopropyl alcohol. I just checked and this Lelon RGA capacitor is just a standard capacitor, so I'm going to use my standard Panasonic ones for this one. Maybe I'm going to remove these two small ones before installing those. This is a 10 microfarad 25 volt and 85 degrees Celsius. Just check. As you can see, this one is good, but of course, we are going to replace it anyway. But this one is not. Missed a bit. I have removed these two capacitors. The one in the front is a 1 microfarad 50 volt, and the one at the back is 47 microfarad 25 volts. I think they, these values are printed on the circuit, the circuit board as well, which is nice. Now, let's grab those two values and I will be back just to take a measurement of those two out of curiosity although you say high ESR that's normal so this capacitor does look good actually But this one does not look good. 29% voltage loss, ESR 9.4. So for the 47 microfarad, I'm going to use this Lelon one. Just take the measurement. And there you go. For the one microfarad I only have this IC. Great.
And the last one, which is the main filter capacitor. I will clean those two transistors with isopropyl alcohol so we can apply new paste. So here we are, actually the problem with this was that it would power cycle everything uh, when you switch it on, um, all the LEDs and everything went out. So here we are, moment of truth, I've already switched it on there and I'm switching the plug. Here it is cleaned and uh, ready to serve for many many more years. Thank you for watching. See ya.